then how to target eye movements in sessions. Let's do this as super quick. So it depends what eye movements you get. Obviously, you're going to do stuff where it's within graded to what they need. Is it about convergence and divergence? Is it about visual tracking? Is it about quick localizations? The astronaut program is a really good program to actually do with kids to hit a lot of these things. And what that does is you get that intense vestibular input in a really pure way. It hits the semicircular canals really cleanly. If we haven't talked about that, we can talk about it another time, what it does. And then it triggers a reflex, right? This nystagmus. So you get them to passively do these movements and then you get the pen lights out and you get them to actively do the movement. So they feel the movement and then they actively make that movement happen. Great activity. In sessions, however, we have all this SI equipment and great equipment. You might be working out, do I start from a stable base or do I do it on equipment? You're gonna to have to judge that for your kids. But I love, act, my favorite activities for this sort of stuff are things where you're doing like a, like a Star Wars game with a lightsaber. Then you just make up some random thing that these are the Jedi rings of doom or what, I don't know, whatever they are, right? But you're reaching with a lightsaber or with your hand, but with a lightsaber, you're going to loop the loop and then you're going to bring it over and you're going to put it on the, you know, like think about coits on a coits. I don't know if we, do we have a coits thing at either clinic? But like reaching across, getting it, tracking, keeping your eye on it. Um, a lot of the pre-astronaut stuff is really good too. And so being aware of where the eyes go. So not just doing this, but it's, you know, so when we're giving them a finger, a beta zap, or whatever it is, like you have it there until you get the eyes to actually follow with it. Um, we had a really good okay. wonder. Andrew was wondering, would that be still bubbles and a pool noodle? Yeah. Yep. So if you've got, so but it's often I'm holding the ring and I'm, I, so I can grade it to make sure that I'm actually getting their eyes locking into it. That's the key, right? It's not just doing the activity. It's the doing it within the range and at the speed that they can get it because we want that just right challenge. We want the adaptive response comes when it's achievable, when they pull all their resources together and it stretches them. It's that stretch goal, right? So it might be that you're just working within this range or it might be that you're having to go at this speed. Um, but thinking about sometimes for catching and throwing with a kid, I am literally, their feed forward is so bad that they can't get their hands out the ball just thwacks them in the chest that I'm practicing throwing by bringing the ball, holding it in my hands and literally bringing it to them so slow that they can register and get their hands out to catch it. And then maybe the next step is the hard one is that when they start to get their hands out, can I just pop it into their hands so that it's not just handing it to them? But how do I grade this at a level that allows that child to organize a response? Um, so, uh, yeah, so anything where you're sort of um, connecting hand and eye, I, I'm thinking about this stuff too, when we're pulling up a rope to rescue Spider-Man in the cloud. So how am I using that object so that they're connecting hands and eyes? I'm not allowing them to do this sort of stuff, right? I want them to hook in vision. Same with the clouds. I'm, you know, I'm giving it just enough challenge where they really have to pull in and they need to do it. I'm often reinforcing midline before that crossing piece, but connecting those eyes. The key thing is knowing where they are and finding fun, meaningful ways to track an object. Um, and then you can grade it and you can increase the challenge in the projected action sequence, sequence from whether they're on a stable surface and the thing is stable to whether the thing is moving and they're stable to maybe they're moving and the thing is stable to maybe they're both moving like on a swing. Coolio, 